Hi everyone. In the previous videos, we have tried con configuring, uh, configuring alert uh, for virtual machines using Portal and PowerShell. And this time, we'll try with Terraform. So it's uh, it's a pretty much the same. When we wanted to create an alert rule, uh, that too, uh, whenever there is a restart is happening on the virtual machines, this comes under the activity log type. The alert type comes under the activity log, and uh, so for creating uh, uh, an alert rule for the activity log type uh, in the virtual machines, let's go and uh, uh, try Terraform. So I'm going to write a Terraform file here. And for this, I'm going to utilize, uh, uh, what do we say? The Terraform registry I wrote itself. So I'll go to Google and start searching for Terraform Azure Alert. And we'll actually find there we have in under the Terraform registry I we have Azure RM monitor uh, monitor Azure Activity Log Alert. And uh, let's understand how we can actually do this. So first we have to create a resource group, and I already have a resource group in place which is test hyphen RG. So if I go into portal.azure.com I am placing all my alerts under the resource group called test uh, hyphen rg so whenever I am creating I have to first create an action group so before I even create an action group and everything I also have to use azure rm plugin under the uh, terraform and that was pretty much uh, we follow the same whatever the Terraform registry I was saying, which is first define the Terraform block, which is this. And as of now, I'm using 2.46, so I'll go with the 2.46 itself. And then we have to define the Azure RM provider, and this is the one where I would like to mention the subscription ID and everything. It's my common practice. So the subscription ID, we can even hard code or pass it as variables. As of now, I'll pass it as uh, hard code itself. So you can find the subscription ID here for your, uh, under your subscription. Either you can go to a test RG or any resource, or you can even go to subscription, uh, search for subscriptions, and uh, under subscriptions, you can actually find the subscription ID. Now I paste that here, and the next one is under this, I will use this as your first. I'll create an action group. So let me create an action group under the action group. I will mention the resource group name as test rg and it is I named every action groups as ag hyphen portal, ag hyphen powershell and now this one I'm naming it as ag hyphen terraform and this is ag terra and this is an ARM receiver. So if I look under the Azure uh, ARM monitoring group, uh, yeah, there it is. So under this, I can actually have to look for ARM role receiver. This is, there it is. There is the one. So instead of webhook, and this one I have to name it as a owner email notification notify telephone. And the role ID is as we can go under the owner role in this one. A resource group, let's take a resource group and let's take the owner role. Search for owner role and 
you can look into the JSON and there we will find this role ID and let's copy it and let's place it under the role ID and we'll use the common alert scheme as true and this is good now after action group is created then we are going to create an actually uh, activity log alert and that is nothing else is this is the one so here i'm going to mention copy this and i'm going to paste it here under the same i'm going to mention this as track hyphen vm whenever it is restarting okay and the resource group name is test hyphen rg and the scope is is nothing but the subscription so just in the terraform point of view uh, the scope was this one so let's copy the same thing here And that's a subscription ID under the scope. And uh, we will mention this alert will monitor if any we, I mean, VM is restarted. If uh, any VM uh, restarted. And we don't need anything at this point of time. Uh, uh, I mean, the criteria comes under the yeah. So we need to mention the conditions, right? That's the criteria. As per Terraform, this is the conditions. So my conditions are uh, that. Uh, So whenever there's a restart, I would like to uh, give that restart name and the operation is an administrative one. So if you go and check in the arguments, there is category as administrative. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to play, paste that category here. And then the operation name, I have to just go inside the machines. Uh, I have to go inside this. Uh, what do you say? Yeah. Machines VM01. And if I look at the activity log, I have restarted actually in the last one week. If you just look at the restart, there it is. So if you go into the JSON, the action will be mentioned as this is the operation name. Even you can find this one action this is the action and this is the, if whenever this action has been performed automatically an activity log has to be triggered and the action group was to notify the e, uh, owner of that uh, virtual machine and here this is done and i have to mention uh, which action group i might have to attach that action group to this log right so here, what is happening, Azure monitor, this has to be matched main and ID. So it is mapping to this and I don't need this one. This is good. So now we are uh, good to deploy the Terraform uh, alert rule. So let's go and I'll save this and I'll save this under main.tf and I'll save this under the all files and I'll copy this location. Now I'll go here. First I have to ensure that uh, uh, I have been logged into my account, so I have been logged into this uh, account, my Azure account, and currently it is in the subscription, whichever I wanted to deploy. So 
I have to ch ensure that I am in that right folder path wherever there is the uh, .tf file and everything is good. Now I will uh, perform Terraform in it which will initialize and download the uh, Azure RM uh, plugin. So it's going and finding the appropriate plugin 2.46 and So Terraform initialization has been, and it has been successful. Now I'll do a Terraform plan and check whether there are any syntax errors or if at any runtime errors are there. Can show. Even, even then you might face errors in the Terraform uh, uh, when you do a Terraform apply. That, but this is a good check. Uh, doing a Terraform plan to understand what all things will be done. So it is saying this is all will be created. So now I'll do a Terraform apply auto approve So let me go and start my machine meanwhile. So if I go into monitor, under the monitor, I look at the alert rules. I should be finding rack hyphen VM re hyphen restart. So it's first creating an action group. Then uh, it is clear the act action group got created. So if we go and look at the action group, we should be finding ag hyphen terraform. There it is. Now we'll go back into alert rules and let's look at. Uh, so alert rule also has been created. We refresh this. We should see tag vm hyphen restart. Now let me restart the machine and this should be triggering an alert, firing an alert here. So let's wait for the uh, alert to be triggered. It's, it needs uh, the activity uh, log to be in the updated will take around three, four minutes. And uh, after three, four minutes, we will see that alert to be fired. I mean, while passing the recording. Now, if you see, uh, we could actually see that uh, the alert has been triggered, fired, and it was being sent. So it will be uh, the the uh, the operation name was restart action and the the resource it was mentioning what is the resource and everything. So this is how uh, alert can be triggered using Terraform. And if you wanted this Terraform code, I'll actually upload that in a GitHub link, and you can actually refer the Terraform script or the uh, the PowerShell script. Thank you, team.